Hello everyone and welcome to the unboxing of the Celestial Tarot Cards. Now, I live in the US and we have a store here called Five Below, where everything is pretty much below $5. And I was just looking through their stuff because they actually have pretty cheap, like I said, pretty cheap stuff below $5 because it's called Five Below, <laughs> but also pretty good quality stuff. And I stumbled upon these. I had no idea they had tarot cards. Uh, I've never seen Celestial Tarot Cards this anywhere else, but I'm, I don't know if you can find it in other places. I found it at this store called Five Below. Now, um, so I was really surprised. It, so it cost me $5, which I was like, this is super affordable. So if you are a witch on a budget, go for it. Get the Celestial Tarot Cards. I like the back here a little bit. It says, tarot cards are an ancient form of fortune telling used to explore the realms of possibility. This deck encourages mystical exploration and divine interpretation. Now, one thing that sucks about this, there is no book, all right? So if you're brand new to tarot, there is no little company book that comes with it, all right? Uh, it is a little bit tight, but here we go. We opened it, it's this little tuck box. But yeah, there's no book that comes with it. Now, I was actually very surprised this, these backs are beautiful. And the cardstock is actually pretty good. It's flexible. It's very flexible, but it's it's durable. It's going to be durable. I can tell. And it's, I was just very surprised. So this is my Rider Waite Smith um, original. And as you can see, it's the same size. It's the same size. So that's pretty awesome. It's your standard terra size style. Love it. Just white edges, no big deal. We have a little white border, not actually too of an obnoxious border. Um, I'm going to show you all 78 cards. If you don't want to see all of them, if you're planning on getting it, you can skip ahead, but I will show all of them and they are in order. All right, so we get the full. Now, the only thing that I found a little bit obnoxious is how big the numbers are. <laughs> I mean, how big the, the title and the numbers are. And you get a silhouette of a symbol, and then the, which I love, a Markaba. I love a Markaba symbol. So then you get this for the magician as well. The High Priestess, number two, kind of a huge number two. <laughs> so as you can already tell, there are, it's not very scenic. I do love the background. It's kind of like this rainbow nebula background. Found it to be really beautiful. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm still torn about saying if I think that this deck should be for beginners or not, because it's not bad with the symbols and in the minor arcana too. You know, even though you get a silhouette, you still get the chair and you get the archer. Like that's really interesting imagery. But. Maybe for strength, you don't know why this person is just standing here, which is which just looks very stiff. And then you have a lion, right? Um, so if you're brand new to tarot, you might be a little bit lost because it, the images don't give you a whole lot. And like I said, there is no book. Usually little uh, tarot decks come with a little white book, give you a few keywords for each card. This one does not. Now we get to the aces, and as you can already tell, we the background changes. So we go to the ace of wands, and it's this beautiful orange, yellow nebula. So like the silhouettes are pretty close to what the cards mean and what the, you know, the original Rider Waite Smith, for example, original Rider Waite Smith, looks like. Um, Although these two, I mean, the, the Eight of Wands is very Eight of Wands. We, I think we all, it's a pretty iconic image. The Nine, the nine of Wands usually has like a person. Uh, so this one doesn't. So you might, and the Ten of Wands too. So you, I don't know. I'm generalizing here, of course, but you might be a little bit lost if you're brand new to the cards. 
And then to the cups, we switch the backgrounds again, which I actually do like this color change. I do. Uh, this beautiful blue sky. Seven of Cups is pretty. Seven of Cups too. And Ace of Swords is deep red. Which, I don't know, if in my mind, I mean, I, I like the ones being orange, but I feel like I would almost switch these two if the swords have to be a warm color. Uh, maybe a yellow is more appropriate, but that's just my opinion. It's just in my mind. Um, it's neither right or wrong. It just is. <laughs> and it's just up to the opinion of whoever's using the cards. And I know there are plenty of decks out there who do use silhouettes and icons like this, maybe a little more successfully. I don't really have any on the top of my head. I do love this beautiful grain background for the pentacles. Finally, our King of Pentacles. Here are the backs of the cards one more time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough of the Celestial Tarot cards. If you have a store like Five Below by you, or if you have a Five Below around you, and you are a witch in a budget, this deck is pretty great. I'm not gonna lie, I really like, you know, it's the silhouettes, the art, um, the imagery does, it's pretty close, honestly, for how little they give you in imagery. Uh, it still stays true to the Rider right Waite Smith classic tarot. All right, guys, thanks for the unboxing and review. Thanks for joining me. I really appreciate it. I'll see you guys next time.